probability, events that are not completely separated. You will find this on page 633 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Now, in the previous one, we looked at events that are completely separated. Now the events are not completely separated. Let's look at an example. A card is drawn at random from an ordinary pack of 52 cards. What is the probability that the card is a red ace, a black king, a red ace or a black king, a red card, a king, a red card or a king? Okay, remember this is black and this one is red. Now, let's just mark it on, on the picture. So, a red A. So, if I look at the red A's, this red, so how many red A's will there be? Now, let's just make it a little bit bigger that we can see better. Okay, can you see that there is a red A and there is a red A? So the probability of red A's will be 2 out of 52 and you can simplify it to 1 over 26. Okay, a black king. Okay, remember we are now in black. Let's just see if black will now not work. So let's make it blue. A black king. So where is the kings? Okay, here is the kings. And again, what can you see? There's one, two. So it's again two out of 52, which will simplify to one over 26. Now, now comes the combination. First it was single events. So what's the probability of a red A, a red A's, and a black King. So we can add this two. Can you see there's no overflowing between this two? So it's almost like the previous one, the one we did in part A. So we can just add it up and simplify it to 1 over 26. Okay, so they are mutually exclusive. Now let's look at number D. A red card. Oh, but there's a lot of red cards. Can you see all of them are red? So in a row, if you add it, you're going to see that there are 13. So if you say 13 times 2, you will end up with 26. So a red card is 26 out of 52. Remember, the total pack is 52, and that's the half. Okay. Now, a king. Now be careful. Where's the kings? Now the kings... There is two. I'm going to mark it in green that you can see it. So there's a king, there's a king, there's a king, and there's a king. So how many kings are there? There are four kings. But can you see that two of that kings is also having a red mark? So it's overflowing with the previous question. So that's why if we want to add it up, we have to subtract that too. Otherwise we are having too much. You can even go and count it now. So it's one, two, and then you can count it only one time. So it's the 26 plus the two, which will give you 28 over 52, which you can simplify to 7 over 13. So remember, always the part that's overflowing, that's in both sets you have to go and subtract. So the events red card or king are not completely separated. So two of the cards can be red card or a king. That is why we subtract them. Otherwise those cards will be counted twice. Okay, let's look at an example. You can stop the video and do try now seven number three. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number three. 11 cards, number 11, 12, 13, 14, up to 21, are placed in a box. A card is removed at random from the box. Find the probability that the number on the card is, and then they start. So again, let's just do it like the previous one. We're just going to write down all the different numbers. So it's 11, it's 12, it's 13, it's 14, it's 15, it's 16, it's 17, it's 
eighteen, it's nineteen, it's twenty, and it's twenty-one. Let's just count to see how many cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's eleven. Be careful cards in the box. If you just say 21 minus 11, you're going to get 10. So don't forget to add because it's that one is inclusive and that's why you are having 11. But write it out, count it and you cannot make a mistake. Now let's start with the first one, number A. Even. Now let's mark the even numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So how many even numbers are there? It's going to be 5 out of how many? 5 out of 11. And that's your final answer. Number B, divisible by 3. Now, can you remember divisible by 3 is almost like the multiples of 3. So if you go and look what is the multiples, definitely 12, and then 15, and then 18, and then 21. That's all divisible by 3. So the probability of divisible by 3 and that will be 4 out of 11. Okay, and then the next one. Either even or divisible by 3. Now if you look, if you be very careful if you look at this one, can you see you can even see it, that this one is having a stripe and a circle, a stripe and a circle. So you can go and say even um, and divisible by 3. So you can go and add, because it's the previous two, A and B, you can go and add it up. But then don't forget to subtract the 2 that's overflowing. So it's just going to minus the 2 over 11. And that is going to be 9 minus 2. That's going to be 7 over 11. And that's your final. So it's actually, don't count it twice. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Can you see? Okay, number D. Odd. Okay, now let's see what is odd. I'm going to use, see if I can use, okay, and it's not going to work now. Let's take probability odd. Okay, let's mark the odd numbers. So it's going to be 11, it's going to be 13, it's going to be 15. Can you see I mark every time in another mark so that it's easy to count and not to get confused. So that's all the odd. So all the triangles. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So the probability of odd numbers is going to be six over eleven. And then number E, divisible by four. Okay, now let's see what's divisible by 4. Okay, um, yeah, let's see if we can use another sign there. Um, yes, let's keep with the red. Divisible by, so it's multiples of 4. So definitely 12. Let's just make a mark. 12. Um, then it's going to be 16. Then it's going to be 20. So the answer is going to be the right marks. Can you all see? It's going to be 3 out of 11. Okay, and then the last one, either odd, so it's referring to this too, either odd or uh, divisible by 4. I'm um, the pin. Okay. So let's see, if I compare now, remember, the let's just see, the odd numbers, what was the odd numbers? That was the triangles. So if I look at the odd numbers, it's going to be, let's just see, the odd numbers, it was be 6 out of 11. 
okay um, divisible by 4 will be 3 out of 11 now if you look at this one you see there's no overflowing because it's the right marks and the triangle so it's no one where you can see a right mark and a triangle so this answer it's an exclusive one again not there's no overflowing um, actually exclusive and it's going to be 9 over 11 and that's going to be your final so don't always assume that there's an overflowing mark it control it and if you write out the numbers, it will be very easy to notice.